What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, man, I had this accident this morning. That <laughs> I had an accident. Um, I had this this crazy cool accident that happened today. Making song right here, where um, I meant to um, put gates a little bit farther out. So they weren't so close to the edges of the, the doors, and I accidentally put them everywhere. So all, all the dungeons have all these gates, and it works really well. It allows the player access into the higher dungeons if they want, if they really want to. They can freaking battle their way through tough ass shit, grab higher level items, and go do the whole game in reverse if they wanted. Um. So man, this is super cool. Um. Like here's some ghost sword pillars. These will get you through here, but you gotta have the key as well. It's very interesting. I'm very excited to see this played. So in my my playthrough for today's um or this week's beta update, I can't wait to play this. This is awesome. So um today I'm fin I'm finishing up uh this little bit of code I wrote here to place all the items and then. Or all the item, all the right gate items in the right dungeons, so that you actually can get through the game with all the new gates. So uh, finishing that up right now, and then I'm going to do elemental blinks. So taking your blink ability, combining it with fire, and then being able to still light things on fire with that. So the blink is going to get some way that it, it can actually, you know, pass on its elemental attributes to whatever you're jump blinking over or blinking near. So you can like set enemies on fire, basically with your blink item, the blink orb. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, let me check, uh, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna check over my code. Just gonna do a, a visual look at this to make sure I didn't lose any items. I had to take the current elements, which I was randomizing and throwing it into the game, randomized basically. And three of the elements are now gate items, so they have to be in a certain places in the game. Um, they can be flexible, I can place them in like level 2 versus 3 or 4 or whatever, but still they need to be placed um, with precision. So there's only two elements that get pushed, in, pushed into these extra elements array. That's lightning and fear. They are put, one of them is put in the store and one of them is a secret. Um, looks like I moved sack two because it used to be one of the goal items. So now the, the goal items, I've changed that to boots because it makes, makes way more sense to get the boots as a goal item. I moved diamond stashes to the end of the secrets list. So you're more likely to find interesting, uh, useful items at, for your secrets. Um, primary gate items. Here's the really, the most important part of this whole check in here is that the gate items in the dungeons are, right now they're in a certain order, but they can be flexible once the swordless gates are, or once all the swordless dungeons are done, um, these swordless gate items will take over and kind of be interspersed inside these primary gate items. So this will create some flexibility that it's a variation there. So let's, let me just make sure this is right. Bomb container one, ghost sword, fire, poison, ice, shield, cactus, Blink. I do believe this is all right. One I, one problem so far is that the blink is not going to be powerful enough unless you've ar already found blink three. Um, you're not going to be able to get over this. So where is blink three? Blink three is a secret item right now. See, that's kind of that's that's something that needs to be changed. Right now, it's a secret item. Um, it needs to be at least something you find or buy in a store, making it like really expensive instead of a secret item. So, what could I put instead? I kind of like that you can buy a cactus container here and the sack and the bomb container. Maybe this instead of a bomb there, it should be a bomb container. Yeah, let's do that. You buy a bomb container, because once you buy a bomb container, you can also buy a bomb. And then let's move the blink three here. And let's make sure the blinks are freaking really expensive. 
So this will put the this will put all the blinks out in plain sight in the game, at least, so that you can you can work your way through the entire game now, because you need that third blink to get past the the gates in the ninth dungeon. What's up, Avoxen? Hey, man, how you been? Uh, so we got Blink 3. Let's make sure it's expensive. Alright, they're already 200, but that's still... That's still pretty cheap. I'm thinking these should be like 800. 600, 500 maybe, at least. What's the other most expensive item? I think it's the sack. There's a sack that's really expensive. No. The extend top hat is 420. <laughs> uh, where did I get that number from? Um the sack. Oh, the sack's 250. Maybe 700? What's up, stay off games? What's up? Yeah, 700. I think 700 could work cuz that's going to require a 700 would require that you have the third sack though. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it at 500 for now, just because that means that you have to, because this, the first sack, wait, where, hold on, let's check this out. Where do you get the other sacks? The sacks allow you to carry more diamonds. Um, so you can buy one sack in one of the advanced stores. These these two stores are like really deep in the world, but they're still in plain sight. You know what I mean? You, find, you can plainly go and find these stores. Um... Actually, maybe that might not be true. Some of these might be hidden behind waterfalls. But still, it's that kind of game. Uh, you know, some things are kind of kind of be secret. <clears throat> I know, sacks, right? So you can get one sack here, and then the other two sacks are secret, right? So you need you need to at least find one more sack. It's not enough sacks out in plain sight. Because you need to be able to buy the blink too. And that require No, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this totally works. This totally works. This totally works. Because if you have... You can buy the first sack at this store. And that gives you enough to be able to buy the blink. All right. Okay, that works. That totally works. Let me take a look at this code again. Just checking in the placement of items. This is this is getting Songbringer is becoming really interesting now that all the gate items are finished because man, it makes the whole world so much more dynamic and so much more flowing and fluid because you get these items and allow you to cross different things. You can go back in certain dungeons and, and get things that you, you know, <laughs> not enough sacks. That sacks. <laughs> All right, so yeah, listing extra items, moving around the blink in the bomb container, in the sacks. Uh, all right, so yeah, going back to the primary gate items, we have the bomb container, the ghost sword, which allows you to cross the ghost or open up the ghost pillars. Fire allows you to light, the, light up the fire pillars, get past those. Poison gets you past the acid pillar. Ice gets you past over water. Um, the shield gets you past the shield towers. The cactus gets you past secret walls. And the blink gets you over regular walls. Actually, the blink three does. This should oh, that's that's probably something that would really clear this up right here. This should be blink two. You know, and this should be blink three. It doesn't really matter what order they're in because the game just combines them. But um, it makes a little more sense to me looking at the code to see this blink two here in the store. This is and then this last blink right in dungeon nine, gate item. You get the last blink. So that makes a little more sense. What else? There's no more secondary gate items because they can't be really be randomized anymore other than switching up the gate items, the swordless gate items, which will get interspersed into these eventually once there's three swordless gate dungeons or swordless dungeons. All right, and then I added a different kind of check because... Um, yeah, I got rid of I get rid of just manually putting bomb container one here and moved it into the primary gate items. It makes a lot more sense there. 
and setting up the items and just renamed a few things. Cool. This is a good check-in. So let's commit that and get on with making the three sacks. What's up, Steve Chambi? Steve Chambi, that those those um man, that that uh the speed runs last night, dude. I watched I watched I literally started watching those speed runs of Legend of Zelda. What is it? Link to the Past, Reverse Boss Order. That was so enthralling. I watched like the first half an hour. And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta stop watching because I still got work to do today. But later that night, I went back and and finished watching the entire like two hour stream of them beating Legend, the Link to the Past in Reverse Order. It's so ins it was so inspiring for Songbringer because. I, I forgot how awesome a link to the past is, you know. This game is really inspired by the first Zelda, Legend of Zelda, um, but you know a lot of the a lot of the 16-bit era link to the past is getting into the game too. You watched it live? Oh, cool. Yeah, that was probably awesome to watch that live. I'm sure that was amazing. Yeah, you did. Oh, I bet. I bet. What's it, what are some other notable ones? Like what did what did you uh Yeah, right? What else did you what else did you watch that was really really um awesome? Hey, what's up, Azimus? Welcome, man. So I'm gonna do a cursory cursory check over the game just to make sure um, nothing really broke with uh, making just aligning all these gate items in ordering them correctly. So we're in dungeon. What is this? Dungeon four. You get the fire. And the fire, a lot less. I'm gonna run around this dungeon. Okay, here's the boss door. Here's a ghost pillar, so I'm in, I'm in dungeon four, right? Gate item three is the ghost pillar, so I would have already had the, yeah, I already had the ghost, the ghost sword I got at the end of dungeon three. So here's some fire pillars. I can get past these because I went to dungeon two and got the lighter. And this is, this is what's kind of beautiful about this whole new system. So if you're just joining the stream, this is kind of an accident today. I, I accidentally put all of these dungeon doors, um, or all of these gates types right here. That was a, that used to be a gate type. Let's go find another one so it makes sense. Um, I, I accidentally put them in the dungeons and it worked out. I was like, whoa, this is way better. The whole game is amazingly interesting now. And I took away the gates from the top. Or from the overworld, so let me show you what I mean. Yeah, the game has really progressed a lot since uh, over the last, just over the last few months. It's crazy in game development how you uh, you start adding things, um, and it, the game gets better and better and better. But as, as soon as you have a big a foundation built of everything, and you start adding things like at the very, it's like once the foundation is done, the game gets like exponentially better. I don't know how it happens, but like, you're like, whoa, 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 it's just way more fun. <laughs> right? Yeah, so all of the, um, there used to be gate tiles here. All over the overworld, every one of the, the dungeon entrances had gate tiles on the outside. But since the game already puts gate tiles, um, or gate blocks, to block you from getting through sections, like this, this used to be a bomb block right here. You're already blocked off, so why block the player twice? Because I want players to be able to do the game in crazy orders and go completely, if they want to, go completely out of order with this. Maybe maybe you can't quite get to Dungeon 9, or maybe there's some crazy cool trick to getting to Dungeon 9 at first, straight from the very beginning of the game. But I want that to be possible. So, it actually accidentally works out really well to put the gate types here in the dungeons. And um, right now they're corresponding with door numbers. So like this is door number one. This is gate type number one. Uh, you know, 
now. Let's see if we, here's door number three, basically, because that's the Gats Gate Type 3. Here's gate number six, I believe, is the acid pillar. You have to have the acid hat. Let's see that. Yeah, so acid can get me through there, but nothing else. And yeah, oh, so okay, this is dungeon set. Wait, dungeon four? So I'm, I'm getting gate item. I'm getting the fire. This is wrong. This gate, uh, this gate right here should be. Um, fire? I got fire in the last one. Let me start over. I'm going to start at Dungeon 1 again. I got to make sure this is right. Because I think that was wrong. I got so many stored positions here. I'm like, oh, that position's cool. That position's cool. That position's cool. Ocarina of Time 100% with glitches was pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of their glitches in Ocarina of Time. Legend of Zelda 100%. Oh. Without all the items. Uh-huh. Mario 1, Mario 3. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hey, Blood, what's up, Blood? You're in your booth. Yes. Yes, of course I can. Okay, so in this dungeon, I'm getting the bombs. Let's make sure I get the bombs. Get the bombs here. Let's make sure that the gate item of this dungeon is the bombs. Or, I mean, to get the gate item for the switch room is the bombs. Yeah, this one works. Why did, why did that other dungeon not work? So we got we got proper gating here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, you emailed me about getting together. All right, nice. Uh, so let's try dungeon two. Well, this one's of course could, should be right. Let's see. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is dungeon two, which uses the, the other fire item. So we get the lighter. But I already have the lighter. There's no gates in this dungeon. So dungeon three, maybe that's the, the problem is that dungeon three, the ghost sword, this should be the ghost sword. And then this should, we should have ghost sword pillars. Where, where we got? So I need to take away the player's ghost sword. We should see a ghost sword here on the ground. And... Yep, cool. Cool, and a little puzzle works. Punch out! Oh, I never beat, like, the, I never beat the second guy. Punch out was so hard. 
that would be a really interesting speed run to see because because it's so difficult. I, and, or at least maybe it was just difficult because I was a kid. I don't remember. Right? Yeah. For nostalgic reasons, for sure. All right, this is right. We got the we got the ghost sword here. The ghost pillars are blocking this one. This is totally right. So what the heck happened to Dungeon Four? It's weird. Yo, what's up? Oh, wait, didn't they find this tips? The, the BG recently on PO? Oh, punch out. I don't know. All right, a boxing. See you, man. So this dungeon, the item we get. Acid, I believe. Or it should be acid. Or fire. Treasure Island Dizzy? Sweet. Oh, Treasure Island, of course. I thought they called this something else on the NES. But maybe not. This was hard, huh? What's it, What made this one super hard? So here we're getting fire, which is okay because we've already got the teleport in the previous dungeon. Um, but I think the, the, I think the gate item's wrong here. Which one am I supposed to be going here? So we should have the fire pillar as this thing's gate. Oh, it was easy to die. No saves. Oh. Sounds brutal. Okay, I'm, I, see, I see what the problem is. This is, um, this is putting fire where fire, fire should be here. Oh, and is this actually, we're not even getting item shield. Shield two, shield three, shield is a swordless item that we don't have yet. Oh, I see why, because Dungeon 9 shouldn't even have its own gate item. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of these because I'm not using these two yet. I'm going to put item shield there. 
NK item shield three here and fire does not need to be here anymore. Because the fire pillar becomes this thing here that, that lines these gates up. But we still got item fire we need to put somewhere for now. So maybe it should be a goal item. Yeah, I could see this being a goal item. Okay, let's see if that, that fix that. And then I'll get on to making the el elemental blinks. So you can actually turn, when you're turned into fire, when you're blinking, you can actually spread some fire, damage some enemies, open up some gates. Okay, we still have this gate type. That's, that's right. But now our item here should be acid. Yeah, good, we got acid. We got the pillar there ready to show us so we can use the acid. And when I beat the boss, let's make sure the item you get after you beat the boss. Okay, we got boots. Okay, that works. And then you die from being burned alive. <laughs> Because you see, you're, uh, right, you know, you actually probably can hurt yourself from that. So I, I need to work on that, right? When you actually use the elemental blink, I need to make it maybe so you're invincible for a minute or something. I'm not, or, or just invincible to fire. I'm not sure. So back in the previous dungeon, dungeon three, we should have got the teleport. I just want to confirm that. Actually, I'll confirm it here with the with the debug. What do we got here? Did I not? Oh, I didn't line. I didn't list out the dungeon items. Dungeon verbosity, at least one that shows all the items. Here's how it, it turned out, this world turned out. Dungeon three, great, we got the teleport item. That's the goal. The the gate item is the ghost sword, perfect. So teleport's there, and then you the next dungeon, you already have teleport from the, the end of the dungeon before, so you can take that, combine it with poison to make any kind of poisonous thing to get you past these acid pillars here. So this dungeon four right here, this is where the game starts to get a little bit trickier about how, how you cross gates, they're not as, they're not as straightforward towards uh, from dungeon four on. So that's where the, the game's challenge, or at least the challenge of knowledge comes. Once you already know it, then it's not as challenging. But anyways, there's definitely some curiosity to be had in the meantime. So let me check this in too. Some little more tweaks to make sure these items are in the right order. Oh, uh, let's make sure though that in, the, in dungeon nine, the very last dungeon, Let's just make sure that has a good flow as well, because there's no there's no corresponding gate item for Dungeon Nine, so let's make sure it f still feels interesting. Oh, there's no corresponding gate item, but there is a, there is a story element that will go with getting all the way through Dungeon Nine. Oh right, so it's using. All right, okay, yeah, that's this is the switch room. And here's where you need the blink three to get over this. Uh, wait, how many blinks do I already have? Let's say I already had blink and blink two. 
and I'll run around this dungeon, find the third blink, and make sure I can get over that wall. these did i already get the i got the blink 3 oh i got the blink 3 in the previous dungeon that's right so i gotta finish the cactus game anyways i'm pretty sure this is all working but let's make sure if i had blink 3 here huh it took me eight hours and 28 minutes to get 46 percent of the map 20 percent of the items that's it wow well <clears throat> okay that was very interesting oh hey i never noticed it showed there's a map here oh that's really cool it shows you the mini map like location where you are but it shouldn't show you the the HUD. Yeah, there's score too. Score is gonna score is gonna be what actually ranks you on the leaderboard. So, the score is an overall combination of how fast you beat the game combined with your map percentage and your item percentage. All of those become a third of your score. So, and the and there of course the time is reversed. So you know less time equals more points and you get more points in permadeath mode too so it's like a, the most amount of points you can get in the game is a million points like you get a million points whoa that's the top right uh, but um, if you play in permadeath mode you can get 1.1 million you, sh you, sh you want it to loop through all the dungeon mini maps You mean you like you want it to show every single area of the game, or or do you want it to show? Yeah, nine 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 nine. Exactly. You can never quite get a million points because you can never beat the game in one second, right? So yeah, you're never ever ever gonna be able to get a million points. But if you play in permadeath mode, you can get one point one nine 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 or one point oh nine nine whatever. PMC, what's up, man? Okay, I'm gonna try that again. I just want to make sure I can blink over these double walls, and then I'll do the next. Then I'll make sure the blink is all working with the um, elements. Room appears to be unlocked. 
All right, yeah, we're cool. Willikers! Oh, you're waiting to see if your name's in there? Isn't it? Awesome, this works fine. You can teleport over these or blink. Azarus, you're in there. Yeah, you're there. You're definitely there, man. Sorry, sorry I cut it short. Yo, Zynger! What's up? Okay, that's good. We got all these confirmed and stuff. Yeah. Wait, let me let me just look at that. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Cactus container four. Shield two. Boots. Let's change to fire here as a primary goal item. Eventually, once I have three swordless dungeons, this fire will become one of the one of the things in here. Um, one go sword. So I just shifted all these down, but put a shield three at the end. I think this is good. This makes the game playable and beatable right now. All right, so my goal now is to make it so you can, when you blink, you can get, you can light things on fire if you have the fire blink. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, PMC, what I've been up to this past month? Oh my God, so much, man. There's so many new story elements for everything. If you play from the very beginning of the game, you'll you'll see there's like a, so many new story elements, like. The characters talk about almost everything. Like the first time you get health, the first time you find a diamond, lots of those kinds of things. Are, uh, a lot of the game is explained more now. There's more context. You understand what the characters, what what the situation the characters are in, and why why you're doing what you're doing, and you know. And then there's the, there's like the, also the um the swordless dungeons. You have a t whole dungeons where you don't even have the sword. And Pedro and Tom Nook, what's up, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm working on uh, the fire blink right now. So let's see, I crafted the fire blink. Now I just want to be able to light enemies on fire by blinking near them or light, uh, see, like light up the fire pillar. Light up like a, a fire pillar on fire. We gotta find a fire pillar. It's showing me where the doors are. Ah, oh, here we go. Great, here we are. Alright, so in this room, it had already marked the, uh, the fire pillars as disabled, so I, I need to make sure 659 is not in my map. You sent your CV? Alright, let's see how it goes, man. No, I have not seen it. I'm not really a follower. What, what, what's the, what's the deal behind this PMC? Is it like, is there some really bad stuff with the Call of Duty, new Call of Duty, or something? So the goal here is to be able to go like this and like blink near something, and you light it on fire.
So actually, I just thought that it would be pretty, it'd be pretty cool if we used a lighter item to do this. Or we could just do an area of effect. If I had the fire bombs, would they work right now? Since the third one, what are they on now? Oh, it did not work. Why no fire? I thought it was supposed to spread fire. Over two million dislikes. Whoa. So, but but tell me why why are people disliking it? What's the what's the problem with this uh, this Call of Duty that people are really really not liking it? When the bomb explodes. It adds K filter fire. I think it uses a function called explosive. Here it is explosive damage. Ah, see, it could, it used to, to attack switches and containers. Oh my god, this seems to be this seems to be all different. All kinds of different. Yeah, this is so this is right here. This is so wrong. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. The fire pillar, why isn't the fire pillar being lit on fire right there? This should be Even Battlefield developers trashed them. People wanted a game set in modern times of World War One. The new Battlefield game is set in World War One. Oh, it's just the same game? Is that really that's that's why people dislike it? Is because it's just like the other one, the last the one before it? Default mask. It should allow the bomb to hurt it. Shot foe, shot neutral, friend, sword, top hat, bomb. Yeah. What? So the fire pillar is being, it can be hurt by, oh, wait a minute. This is not the fire pillar we're concerned about. It's the unlit fire. There's a separate entity called unlit fire. Yeah, watch it still sell, right? Mask fire. Really, the damage type. This is this is such a wrong system here. I think all that needs to happen is that we we do get collisions based on the bombs category, which the bomb is the 
The bomb is Ian. So I'm getting the collision component for that, the bomb. And grabbing its category. And then this should be mask. I think this is all that needs to happen. And then a bomb will explode and get all the collisions based on its own mask, not based on just K filter all and then looking for bomb, which is Jeez, this is so wrong. <laughs> Based on what sells, right? Hold on, if I have the fire top hat, this should work. Okay, yeah, that works. So if something's not happening here. It's not quite doing its collision right. Okay, let me set a breakpoint. Get the collision component for the bomb. And grab its mask. What's this turn out to be? We got a one here and a one there. Hopefully that's fire and bomb. All right, so there we did get collisions based on on the mask we're given, the position of the bomb, and the size of the explosion. Why is one oh one? Is that? A... It can't be right. One oh one's right in the middle of the screen. I thought I just set the bomb off way higher than that. Let's pause. One sixty one, it went down. Well, oh, fifty it was half the size of the explosion. Okay, I get it. It's a big explosion radius. There's no E, it's size zero, nothing found, no collisions.
Ow. Oh, oh, I understand what's going on. At this very instant, what's what's happening is that the bomb doesn't. The bomb is a, is the way the top hat works is that um, it has two entities. The top hat itself is a physical entity which has its own movement parameters and stuff like that. And then its damaging entity is a is something that causes its damage. So there's two entities. One causes damage. One just moves. And then the bomb is only one entity. So we do need to do this this reverse order search here like this. We need to check the filter mask. Damn. Still didn't work. Check um on that pillar on the fire. We have the we have no category. So it's category none. There's no way it can be found. Uh Okay, I understand what's going on. We do need to kind of have, have a different kind of entity for doing damage in an area. Just like the lighter. This needs to be, I need a model of this based on the lighter. So we go to the lighter entity. Which is the, this lighter entity is basically an entity it's an area of effect. Let's call this area AOE. Collision size, we'll start with the default of 3B, 3B. I don't know. Yeah, 40. Type melee, yeah. Category. Category totally depends. Mask. This is its attack. Is this what it attacks? I guess it is. I'm not even sure if it needs this collision entity. Hmm. I think both of these need to be the same. Okay, let me experiment with this with the bomb. So the bomb, instead of doing this,
We want to create a lighter entity. Where do I create one of these? Not like a lighter entity, but we want to create a... Here it is. Create lighter. Yeah, this needs to become its own function here. But for the moment, I'm just going to use explosive damage. Actually, I don't need to. What is the explosive damage function? Oh, it's in collision system. Oh no, today is game show using tons of CPU. Oh, killing it. Who's killing it? Game show's killing it today. It's eating my whole CPU. I might have to turn off today's stream because this bugs the hell out of me. This is like my pet peeve. Software gone gone awry. It just it starts eating way more CPU than it should, and then and then it never ever recovers. Damn you, game show! This bug's happening all the time lately. Really. Blam! Why game show? I know it is it's the best thing. Hazardous is stoked. He's like, yes, I gotta sleep soon. <laughs> yeah, game show's the best thing I've found. I've, I mean, I've tried OBS in the past. You know, I could I could try that again. There's a lot of new updates. We need a position, a size, and I think a category. <laughs> right yeah the same kind of thing your antivirus software my streaming software they just they're eating everything up start attack creates the collision compaster I guess that's Oh, I just want that to be none. I'll leave that alone. So we start the attack. This is a good example. That's some code. This is pretty similar to what I need. To, what I need here. Basically, I want to change the size of this AOE effect. E dot attack dot attack box H. Attack box V equals size. That was hard. Uh, and I guess last position might be necessary. Oh, that's just because we change it. Oh, no, we don't need this. 
Well, well, well. That was like pretty simple. Let's hope it works. So this this entity will flicker into existence. Why does it? Oh yeah, and it deletes itself after a second. That's a long time. Okay, well, let's see if it works. So let's let's hook it up into explosive damage. At the end, we're gonna call AOE damage at the position of the bomb, size of the bomb, category of the bomb. Yeah, game show is not gonna recover. You guys are gonna be listening to my fan the whole time. But really, I can't take this much longer. It freaks me out, man. It makes me think it's gonna burn up my laptop's fan. And this laptop's everything to me. I can't afford to buy a new laptop. Whoops. I was so tempted. I'm like, oh, oh, I know how to do this. Use the lighter. But no, we're trying to use the fire bomb or the fire blink. Both have different, seem different, but oh, damn it. Still nothing. Really hoping this will work here. It needs a category. Oh my god, dude, it's so loud now. It's like at that high-pitched whine that says it's like at like maximum heat. Shit! Oh. How about, okay, you know, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna restart the stream. I'll keep streaming the rest of the today's stream time, but I, the rest of today's video won't be on YouTube. So, sorry people on YouTube. Um... But yeah, I'm just restarting the stream. We'll be right back because this is bugging the hell out of me. Push all your data online. <laughs> 